Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will be recapping the Manwa called our sunny day. Under the warm radiant sun at 34 to 2 Nildongme village, a gentle breeze rustled accompanied by a harmonious melody of chirping birds. Likely our MC saying I left the city life behind for this farming village where people collect honey in the spring and pick peaches in the summer to sustain their livelihood. A old man talking to a man likely in his 20 telling him about the house says it looked like a palace, no? That used to be an old thatched roof house, but they tore it down and built a new house for a TV show. I know it's a little far out, but it's just a short walking distance away, and you even have a couple of neighbors nearby. And the best supermarket in the town is right over there, so this is the perfect place for young folks to get a taste of the countryside. It even comes with a small field so you can try your hand at farming. All you have to do is step out of the house for the splendid view. The people are friendly and the head of the village is young and dependable. This looks to be just the right place for a young bachelor like you wouldn't you say so the old man said. Our MC said yes this place is perfect. He thought if there's one thing I wish for is that this will be a good home for me and my baby. The old man said wait who am I calling a bachelor? I don't think I've ever seen a more dependable new father isn't that right little one. The baby is so cute. Our MC unloads the truck with someone else he asks is that the last of it? The person said yes. We are going to call this person the loader because he doesn't have a name okay. It looks like it our missy thank him for his help. Look at the size of this thing let's see here. Is this a crab apple the loader asked but our MC was confused because he didn't know what a crab apple is and told him they said it's an apple tree. Our MC gave him his payment and the loader bowed and thank him. Anyways, you look so young what brings you to the countryside? You'd better watch your back with these country folks the loader said our MC was confused and asked I beg your pardon. Don't even get me started. What they say about country folks being friendly is all a lies. I had a rude awakening when I try to get back into farming. They look down upon outsider especially at this village the loader said while our MC is looking at him like he doesn't care. Our MC thought what do they call it marking their territory? Word has it that the head of this village is one cold bastard. He's famous for being a jerk despite his young age. The loader warned him to be careful I'm told him he's sure you can take care of yourself but since you have a baby with you it can't hurt to be cautious. But then again she doesn't seem to have a care in the world. Well, what do you expect she's a baby? Where did the time go I better get going? Good luck, young man loader said. Our MC said sure thank you drive safe. Before driving off the loader said for a young lad, you sure have some manners. You sound like someone that just got out of the military our MC flinched at his words. That face, what is that face, how am I supposed to describe that? The, the loader drove off on the our MC thought, is it really that obvious? But the baby suddenly woke up looking around saying Data MC thought she wanted food or wanted to poop. After looking around and she didn't see her father she starts to cry saying Data. The face she makes when she's crying oh my god this scene would warm your heart and make you laugh at the same time so cute. Our MC rushed over and said that he's here daddy's coming three years in Korea and five years in the US. His reason why he suddenly came back to Korea after his long service in the military. It's because of the baby that pops into his life three months ago. He never imagined that his ex-girlfriend that he broke up with over a year ago would suddenly show up at his doorstep holding a newborn baby. His ex-girlfriend gave him the baby and said I did my part one gave birth to her. The rest is up to you. If you don't want her just put her up for adoption. How can you be so cruel to your own baby? He didn't know what to do he was scared. To think a soldier that grew up as a lonely orphan without any support or money is raising a baby. But when he looks at her all is worried turn into joy. Yes my worries would be disappearing too if I looked at her I still don't understand how come our mother abandoned her she's so cute though. Because for the first time in his life he had a family. Once you come to realization he knew what he had to do. After he resigned from his beloved military life and ending the lease of my house in USA. He got ready to move back to Korea with his baby and buy a house with his savings. When his comrades found out about his situation, they suggest that he stayed in the state, but for some reason he wanted to go back. He doesn't have anyone waiting for him and he doesn't have any special memories at that place where his parents had abandoned him yet still he chose to go back there due to some unresolved feelings he have. While talking to the baby he said, let's see here you're clean and you just ate. Were you just scared because you couldn't see me? He rubbed the baby cheek and said I'm not going anywhere without you. 
everything will be just fine. While taking a walk to the nearby supermarket, he said, let's get some groceries for dinner before it gets late. Are you hungry? He asked the baby. He said he's so glad there's a supermarket nearby he doesn't think there would deliver out here. He said, while they're at it, let's buy some more diapers while the baby said go. He thought speaking of which he needs to buy a car. But can he afford it? He better go into the city soon. First he have to find a job. Since he have a baby, it won't be easy. He thought all of this while the baby was fidgeting. He thinks that the old man said there's a field, right? He thought maybe he should buy some seedlings and try farming? He doesn't think that he can sell them for profit, but maybe he can reduce their food expenses. He stopped and looked behind him, but the baby got concerned and said Dada. He told her that he is fine, he just got tired, that's all. But someone was looking at them from behind a tree. I don't really know where that person is, I'm just assuming that it's behind of a tree. While reaching at the supermarket, he said, this isn't a supermarket, it's more like a convenience store. Still, it's pretty big, so hopefully I can get most of my essentials here. He suddenly saw something on the door, a note saying, be back soon, burglars will be prosecuted. He said, oh no, that's not good, they didn't leave a number. But he got confused about the burglar part. He got curious and peek inside, he said, they're still in business, right, the light seems to be turned on. Did the clerk step out, maybe I'll just wait. Someone walked up and shouted, hey you, I finally caught you, you little prick. Our MC flinched at his words. The guy said a sneak little rat has been stealing things off his shelf these few days. Was it you, are you the thief that's been robbing my store? The guy said he doesn't remember seeing our MC around here. Stepping closer, he asked, are you here on vacation? Just because this is a small store in the countryside doesn't mean he won't notice. And his stuff are gone. If you got caught, you'll be charged with theft. Us. Country folks aren't as friendly as you think. The guy said you look fine on the outside, you're a young guy with a kid, while glaring at our MC. So set a good example, okay? Our MC got angry and said it looks like there's been a misunderstanding. He just got here today, and he never thought about stealing in his life. What would he even take from this tiny place? And seeing how you keep calling me young, you should be old enough to know better. The guy shouted what? Our MC said you're not exactly displaying model behavior yourself. And I don't appreciate being accused of stealing without reason. If you're going to be an elder, you should at least act like one. What our MC said left the guy speechless. He was going to say something to our MC, but he stopped when he realized the baby was staring at him. While ripping off the paper, the guy said, then you should have just said so. You didn't have to throw a fit. While unlocking the door, the guy said, why were you lurking around? Not even the village leader come here that often because it's too far out. Our MC told him that he just moved in today. And he live in the Korean style house right down the street. He told him that he was told there was a supermarket nearby so he came to pick up some groceries for dinner. Our MC told him that he was looking around to see if anyone was there. The guy thought that house he said to our MC that he see and told him to come on in. While crouching down near a shelf, he told our MC that he doesn't have any fresh meat or vegetables. You've got to go into town for those. Our MC told him okay and thought the town I guess that he has to make proper grocery run once in a while. While taking a groceries basket, he thought that he's going to need a car fast. He was thinking maybe he should take the bus, but he was concerned about his baby. The guy said not this again, who is this prick? They're only stealing all the sweet stuff like a sneaky little ghost does ghost eat chocolate now? This happens every time I step out. He asked our MC, are you ready? Our MC said, yes, can you check me out now? Well, the guy was checking out our MC, our MC asked the guy if he's hiring. Our MC told him that he was looking for a job so that he can settle down. He said, it sounds like you get robbed whenever you step out, what if you hire someone to fill in? He told the guy that he's good with physical labor and he has no problem carrying heavy stuff. As long as the guy lets him bring his baby to work. The guy said no, that's okay he's done just fine on his own. But our MC is persistent and he said if you step out often, you'll need an extra hand sooner or later, it'll affect your sales. But a guy just said he'll pass. Our MC take his grocery bag and said sorry for asking while leaving the store depressed. The guy stare at our MC intensely and thought, why does he have to look so pitiful? He's obviously a single father. He doesn't have a job to support his baby. Suddenly he looks so frail. What has he been doing all his life? Did you free because of his gambling debt? 
At this rate, they're going to find a dead body this winter. Then what about the baby? You're a big softy, aren't you? Our MC thought, what did he expect? Reaching near the door, he saw a giant huntsman spider. Our MC paused and said, holy Jesus, while stepping back. The guy said, can't you hear me calling you our MC, shouted spider and backed up and hit the guy in his face. Our MC said, it's going to come in if I open the door. Oops, sorry. Our MC asked him if he's okay. The guy said, oh, that hurts you have a hard head move. And he shoo away the spider. He told our MC that it's just a big spider. Our MC thanked him and asked just a big spider. The guy start rumbling on and said, this is the problem with people from the city. Here you say hi to insects the size of your skull every single morning. You thought living in the countryside would be peaceful and chill, right? Well, it's not all fun and games here either. By the sound of it, you don't even have a job yet. Just because you brought a house doesn't mean you're set for life and no one here will help an outsider like you. Don't put yourself through any more hardship and just keep a low profile here, okay? Our MC flinched at his word and told him that he's been thinking. The guy said what? Our MC straight up told him that he's a jerk. Dang, yeah, you are a jerk, tell him go, MC. While leaving, our MC told him that he hoped to never run into him again, and he told him to have a good day. The guy got angry and shouted what? He shouted he was looking out for him and asked how old are you and called him a little punk. He said that our MC is banned from the supermarket. While feeding the baby, he started talking to himself. It's not like he expected all Koreans to be nice. But why did he have to run into someone like that on his first day? First, he accused him of stealing, then he talked down to him as if he's below him. Our MC said he's probably only four to five years older than him. Now that's what you call marking your territory. The baby finished drinking the milk out of the bottle and our MC asked, are you finished? While trying to burp the baby, he kept mumbling to himself that he's not off to a good start and that's the only supermarket nearby. He said if it's owned by a bully like that, then he'll pass. The baby pressed on his cheek untapped on his mouth and she burped in his face. Oh my God, LOL. Our MC said, is that your way of telling me to stop? He said, okay, he probably shouldn't badmouth a neighbor that he just met. He told the baby that she is right and he'll try harder tomorrow. Wrestling and tossing in his bed, he suddenly sprang up because he keeps thinking about what our MC said to him. The guy said he's obviously not from the countryside. He was just trying to look out for him just to be called a jerk. I knew it, you really are a big softie. But the way you say things make you sound like a jerk. He bet that he won't even last a few weeks there. The guy said they're not even that cute, he's sure that they can fend for themselves one way or another. Grabbing his shirt, he said, it's not like he's a pushover. He said, this is stupid and a really bad idea. Our MC patting the baby looking like he's half dead, he said, finally. She fell asleep. He got concerned because she never had this much trouble falling asleep. So he thought she was stressed because of the move. He thought now that she's asleep, he can finally get some rest. Time to make some breakfast. Someone banging on the door nearly woke the baby up. Our MC said, wait, no, he slid the door open and dashed outside. While whispering, he said, wait, who is it? The guy said, hey, it's me while holding a bicycle. Our MC let him in with a confused look. The guy told our MC to follow him and he placed the bicycle on the floor. It made a clunk sound. Our MC got worried that it would wake the baby up. He told our MC that it's a used bike, but he put a new chain in it this morning. He said he even put a super loud bell, but before he could finish his words or ring the bell, our MC dashed over and put his hand on his mouth, but the baby started to cry. While our MC is looking at the guy with a ferocious look, the guy asked if he did something wrong. Our MC told him that he woke her up. Our MC said he just got her to fall asleep after a night of tantrums. The guy asked if she's sick. Our MC told him no and that he thinks that she's been stressed from the move. It's been a pretty long journey, and after their fight yesterday she's being pretty anxious. The guy flinched at what our MC said. While shaking the baby to calm her down, our MC asked why is he here at this hour and what's with the bike. The guy was going to say something, but he paused when he realized the baby was staring at him. So he asked our MC why does she keep staring at him like that? Our MC said good question, she even stopped crying. Our MC told him that he thinks she likes him. The guy told our MC he need a way to get around to live there. Our MC said pardon, the guy said you need something with wheels to get around. By the looks of it, you don't even have a car. 
The guy told our MC that the bicycle was just collecting dust anyway, so it's up to him take it or leave it. The guy said with the bicycle our MC will get to his supermarket in no time. Our MC smiled and said, sorry about yesterday, and he thanks him for the bike. He told him that he was worried about how he was going to get around. Our MC told him that he's a lifesaver and the guy said to our MC that he making him cringe. What are you, a damsel in distress? And he finally introduced himself. His name is Quan Habiam, and our MC did the same. Our MC's name is Sun Ho. Quan Habiam told our MC that he's leaving now. Our MC said, okay, but he stopped and asked, what's the baby's name? Bye, guys. That's all the time I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to please like and subscribe. See you next time.